the second one is LTM. If you want to get married by LTM, Matthew chapter 7, 24 to 25. The Bible says again, Therefore, whosoever heareth this saying of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his own house upon a rock. And the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house. Every house is a that house. And wind will blow, flood will come, rain will fall. I don't have time to be telling you what rain stands for, what wind stands for, and what flood stands for. And it fell not for it was founded upon the rock. You see what? Marriage can either be rocky, hit the rock, or built upon the rock. Marriage can either what? Be rocky, hit the rock, or built upon the rock. So if you want your marriage to last, build it upon the rock. Build it on information. Build it on revelation. Build it on affection. Build it on divine direction. Build it on right questions. The last time I came here, I told you about a book. 1,200 questions you need to ask before you marry him. 1,200 questions. Ask him all these questions. Is your life? Is your life? Please ask questions. The second one is get married to wisdom. Get married to wisdom. Proverbs 24, verse 3 to 4. Truth wisdom is a house builded, and by understanding it is established. Choosing right is not enough, but you must know right. Many people got married rightly, but didn't know what they're supposed to do with it. That's why you need to read books. The way you handle a boyfriend is not the way you are going to handle a husband. The way you handle a girlfriend is not the way you are going to handle what? A girlfriend may, may settle down with card, but a wife wants something more. You can tell a woman, you are the apple of my eyes. She's satisfied with your words. But when she's married to you, she wants to see the apple. She will like to see the apple. So you need wisdom. Please, there's nobody that is a graduate in the school of marriage. In fact, wedding certificate is not a driver's license. It's a learner's permit. Wedding certificate is not a what? It's not a driver's license. It's a what? It's a learner's permit. It's now time. Oh, some people say they normally award certificate on the day of wedding. I say it's not certificate. It's not a driver's license. What were they awarding? Learner's permit. It's now time for you to begin to learn. So get wisdom. That's why we have a lot of books out there now. You see, the day you stop learning in marriage is the day your marriage starts dying. Many of you pride yourself in, I've been married for 25 years. And so, go and count it. 25 years of trouble. You need to learn. All my children are married. Yes. We know, mama. But you still need, you need to learn. Nobody should get up and say, I've been, I've been with my husband seven, for seven years. What else will I know? But this is not the man you married. You are not the woman she, he married. Both of you, you change in our marriage ministry. There is a course in our marriage school. We call it marriage metamorphosis. What do I call it? Marriage metamorphosis. Let me go to the last one. Develop good marriage manners. You know that people can marry well. People can have good characters and still have bad marriages. How? Because they lack manners. There's something that is called marriage manners. Maybe you didn't know. You've been hearing about table manners. Am I correct? What are the table manners? The right way to behave when you are on the, on the table. What is marriage manners? The right way to behave in, in marriage. It's not about cooking, frying now. It's about little, little things that you need to do here and there. And it, they must continue. There's no time you will retire. One of them is appreciation and praise. You must keep on appreciating your wife. You must keep on appreciating your husband. You must keep on little things. She laid the bed, appreciate it. He paid the rent. Don't say he's the one that's supposed to pay. Some people are not paying. Appreciate him. Appreciation. Appreciate him. She cooked and you held the food. What are you supposed to do? Appreciate her. Some people will finish the food. They will just beat their bum bum like this and get up and say, thank you, Jesus. Now Jesus cooked the food. No, me Jesus cooked the food, though. Now your babe cooked the food. Before you eat the food, say thank you, Jesus. But after eating the food, who do you supposed to appreciate? Another one is apology. Always be full of if you cannot say sorry, your marriage will be in a sorry state. If you are too big to say sorry, 
somebody must be saying sorry or the marriage will be in a sorry state then another one is spousal bias you must be totally biased in favor of your spouse you must be totally total nobody should doubt where your loyalty lies nobody should doubt it your wife must not be wrong can never be wrong in the public i mean in the public she can be wrong in the room but in the public i will defend my own if she's stupid we've been married into stupidity together so i will defend that stupidity we can get back home and look and say madam you were wrong but outside i must not naked her so men are so stupid. They are, they are even the one that will pick their call. They will pick their phone and be call, calling everybody. Even their grandpa that died 1732. They will call everybody. My, my, my wife did not cook. My wife did not. Do, you are a baby boy. Spouse are bias. Spouse are bias. I'm totally bias. I'm, maybe you didn't know the meaning of your marriage vow. It simply means from today. I am bias. 